Hi everyone, welcome back to the shop. I'm Sterling Davis and this is Sterling's Woodcrafts. Today, DeWalt 788 scroll saw unboxing, assembly, and first cuts. Also, paying back a debt. You want to see what I did? Stick around. Today I wanted to share with you the latest addition to the shop. It's the DeWalt 788 scroll saw. I've been looking so forward to this. And then packaging is really packaged very well, very tight. And the first warning you see is not to lift the scroll saw by the upper arm. Obviously the upper arm is one of the most important parts of the scroll saw. But when pulling everything out of the packaging, there was one little small package with the instructions on it. And then uh, very tightly and secured around plastic and cardboard was the DeWalt scroll saw itself. Uh, not a whole lot needed to be assembled simply the tabletop um, mounted to the um, back bracket and I'll show you how I've done that but just getting everything out of the packaging uh, it was very minimal to unpack there as you can see the bevel square is tilted at a 45 degree out of the box so I just squared it up eyeballing it just to get it flush so I could put the tabletop piece on and on the back side of the table is the on the back of, is a hole to insert into the pin onto the scroll saw and you just push it flush up against the pin. Then you simply just take the two little bolts and the allen wrench is into the little packet there and screw in the two bolts to the bottom of the table to attach the table to the scroll saw itself. That won't be on there long. So the assembly to the DeWalt 788 is very simple. There's a couple of bolts in the bottom of the table after you put the table in the pin on the back side of the scroll saw. Very simple. So let's get into the project where we pay back Chris Pine from the Super Bowl loss of the Carolina Panthers. So I didn't want to use the same color of wood because you have the different colors and shades. So I picked out uh, kind of a cedar um, I picked out a cedar which would hopefully represent the orange and just a white oak uh, for the body and the good thing about scroll sawing you can stack the items and cut one pattern and you'll have two that you can interchange and I'll show you more on that. When cutting outside lines on a scroll saw pattern, much like a bandsaw pattern, you need to make some relief cuts which would help make those corners easier to get into and make that turn a whole lot simpler. That's what I'm doing here is just slowing down making some relief cuts so I can make that tight turn. Packing tape is good to use on the outside of the pattern for two reasons, to hold the pattern in place and also to lubricate the blade. It's a great way to be able to tell if your table is level with the blade is if it will go straight through the cut and you can insert it back into the top and you know that it's squared up. How you get that squared up, I simply have a, a square. This is the magnetic uh, micro square from FastCap. This is a great little tool to be able to line up your blade to the table. You just put it down and you can square it right up.
I'm still going to keep my Harbor Freight scroll saw, but I'll use it primarily for sanding. And boy, was there a lot of sanding with this project. It just went on and on and on. I want to show you one of the coolest features I love about this saw when you're so used to doing a Harbor Freight scroll saw and then you go to a DeWalt 788. This is so cool. The tension is right here on the top. You simply release the tension, unscrew the blade from the top. You can raise this up, put you a little height in between there and then go to the next hole to do your next cut. Put the blade back in, tighten it up, and reset your tension. I've been using about a five. That took all of about 20 seconds to change the blade. I'm going to use the gloss coat resin to put into the numbers, just mix 50-50 each part, and I'm going to add a little bit of orange glitter to add to the 3, 6, 9, and 12, just to give it a little flair for the Broncos. I hope you enjoyed today's project. I know I did, not so much because it was Broncos, but because I got to use my new scroll saw. So the debt's paid, Chris. I hope you like the clock, and I hope you enjoyed watching me make it. Why not make it freaking bent with him anyway? That's all I got for this week. Always remember, be kind to one another. Who the freaking thought a 15 and one Carolina Panthers would got beat by some retired fogey from freaking Denver?